Okay, quick follow-up to the uh, scope video a second ago. Uh, we're actually on a horizontal time base of 10 microseconds per division. So what we were looking at before and now is not the 60 hertz. This is actually something around 40-some kilohertz, I believe, based on what we saw in the spectrum analyzer. And uh, what we're doing right now is we're just doing the usual scope probe. Andy's got his finger on the tip of the scope probe, and that's the only uh, signal that's coming in here. Uh, but you can see it's really quite big. Uh, now I'm going to change the horizontal time base down to 10 milliseconds per division. And so now what you see, the periodicity there, is actually the 60 hertz. So whereas in the past, uh, 60 hertz gave you a reasonably nice 60 hertz sine wave, now, yeah, there's 60 hertz, but there's a huge, huge component in the 40 kilohertz and all of its harmonics as well, leading to this rather nasty looking um, image on the screen when you are touching the end of a scope probe, like Andy is doing now. And it's all coming from these lights, which yeah, I will turn see. off you so that like we it. will see it go away. Going over to the lights, turning the lights off, and now look. It's virtually gone. Now you still see the 60 hertz because there's still 60 hertz traveling around in the instruments and the wiring, but we've lost all that very, very high frequency content.